healed, saved, and ready to move on for whatever should be over here. Oh, are we going to have a cutscene? No, it's just going to be boss time. We're up against Malaris here. Now, Malaris can be a quite an annoying fight uh, because of all the ice. Uh, uh, no, stay away from that. That will that one will freeze you. Uh, the all the ice and she tends to freeze you. Uh, when the tail comes out, just stand at the top. It will never reach up there. Now you do need a ranged weapon in order to hit Malaris. Uh, uh, when that comes up, try to stand to the side. If that touches you, it will uh, freeze you. And then you won't be able to do damage. Not that I g I'm getting that much done right now anyway. Uh, like I said, the tail is the easy part. Uh, if you had damage dealt to you, that's your time to heal when the tail's coming up. No, no, barely dodged there. So it, if you have the uh, lance leveled up properly, this will also be a good fight for you um, we'll, to bring that out. Same as the bow. Lester didn't make it. It'll be a Lester. No, how did that hit me? That did not hit me. Now I'm frozen. There we go. And one more shot and down goes Malaris. Not that hard of a fight if you know what you're doing. Is it so? I came to this world to see tomorrow, but before I knew it, I forgot my purpose and just floated aimlessly. Thank you, youngsters. You're welcome for kicking your ass, Malaris. <coughs> A mist of blood. Uh oh, we're gonna have a serious cutscene now. The pent up magic became a thick fog which traversed the sky. Crossing the mountains and turning to rain. Crossing the snowfield and turning to rain. Torrents of rain spoke of the years gone by and those who were sacrificed. That rain of blood rode the wind all the way to the castle. The people awoke and realized what had happened. Are they, are they going to be nice or are they going to kill the guy? Freed from the ice, they sought the truth and blamed the king. I'm sorry, Durak. You may not be able to think of this old fool as your father anymore, but Durak, will you succeed as Lorimar's king today? Father, your sin is great. Malaris was defeated by warriors from outside the kingdom. Let us dispense with hatred and sadness and rebuild Lorimar together. That will be your atonement, father. Huh? Just a moment. I know someone very much like you. You are mistaken. Oh, my apologies. You are Pamela, are you not? Surely you jest. I am Marley, handmaid in service to the Grand's family. I am old enough to be your mother. Please release me. Apparently he was holding on to her. Wait a minute. Pamela, wasn't it just yesterday that we spoke tenderly under the stars? Your heart is as pure as ever, but as for me, I have grown more tainted with each passing day. Nothing is more cruel than the passage of time. I, Pamela washes over Lorimar from a distant land. What matters now is that you become a most excellent king.
The rain of blood melted not only the outer shell, but the inner core of the people as well. Thus they forgave the king, and the young prince ascended to the throne. Yet as a king was born, an old a love was lost. And we've made it back to Lorimar. I assume that we didn't gain any levels killing things along the way. Oh, I did gain a level. <laughs> Probably from the boss fight, though. Uh, let's go ahead and put that in Thief. Once again. How's, er how's everybody doing? Everybody happy now? To love or to be loved? Which brings greater happiness? Probably to be loved. I wonder when Pamela and Dur Prince Durisel Duracle Red. Duracle? What? Ah, uh, what is marriage? What is dating? Who knows? How you doing? Former King Lorimar? I've done a terrible thing to poor Marley. She came to look in on me so often. If I could only turn back the hands of time. So apparently everybody was already talking about the uh, about the king and, and Pamela. Where did that Pamela go off to? Poor King Durak. Father told me. You were the ones who defeated Malaris. Our deepest thanks. If you see the lady in waiting Marley, please tell her that I will make a fine nation and let her know that she is always welcome. That that sounds pretty nice, actually. Does anybody else have anything to say around here? I have a fever in the back of my head. I'm not fibbing, it's really back there. Not in the front, though, just the back. Uh, places where the earth is brittle, some spots are so soft they can be penetrated with a sword, so it's a good idea to poke around and watch where you're walking. At least, that's what an explorer once told me. That is probably very useful information. It's Clive again! I'm a supremely talented pharmacist. If you collect a few things like honey and onions and also some dice berries, I'll make a honey elixir that'll build up your strength. Apparently, I don't have all those yet. I thought I had honey onions and dice berries, but... I might not. Uh, those are uh, fruits that you can make. Fruits and vegetables, I should say. Lorimar Engineering is number one! Good for you. Did you land something on Mars? Oh, you didn't. Too bad. You released the castle from the ice? I want you to know how much we appreciate it, but my heart is still frozen, same as before. <laughs> I lost something very valuable to me. Okay, if I tell you about it, sure, because there are side quests that we can do in the castle. I'm looking for geodes, eight kinds, each one with the spirit power, fire, water, earth, wind, wood, moon, and even light and dark. You know the armory? Before this place froze, when I was traveling, I emptied out my emptied out the geodes in my pocket. Each geode has a spirit trapped inside. I think I might be the only one who can break the seal. Would you go find them? If you do, then I can break the seal and set the spirits free. The geodes are small and very hard to see. Good luck. Find the geode with a spirit. Bring it to me. We have a couple. Which geode seal do you want to break? Uh, I have... Uh, oh, they're not going to tell me. I will uh, unle unlock them all at the same time, hopefully. I think I can get uh, most of them pretty soon. Pretty soon here. You're the one who rescued us, aren't you? Thanks ever so much. It's not often that they will thank me in a game, so I will appreciate any thanks that I can get. I actually missed one of the geodes, speaking of geodes. Uh, but this is where you would uh, turn in all the geodes. We'll go back and get that shortly. Adventure stories are full of lies. They got swept away in a flash flood, and then the water was gone. They were attacked by a 60-foot giant squid. Hard to know what's true. I hate liars. <laughs> Surely there is no giant squid. Rooney, you've got good friends. <laughs> I don't like Rooney. Rooney kind of creeps me out. Let's head up here. From the position of the sun and stars, we were able to calculate the altitude of Rocky Wild. Now, thanks to us, anyone can go there. Nicely done. I'm sure we have to travel by cannon to get there. Ah, I'm bored. Want to play with me? They're not giving me an option because I assume saying yes would be too creepy. Is that barbecued newt? Ouch you. That smells so... Man, that smells good. You didn't happen to bump into my son, did you? Oh, forgive me. I'm Marco, originally from Doppel. My son is so thoughtful. I left home to work. I was desperate, so I became a mercenary. Now I'm barely surviving, living amongst the shadows. 
but tell my son that he shouldn't worry. Topple's the best, and now that Dark Lord has fallen, he need not fret about me. Mind if I have a bite? Nah, you know. Oh, so sorry. I just need a little more time before I go back home. Mm. Till then, just a bit. One more time, please. And for my son, we received barbecued tail. I'll go home eventually, just give me a little more time. Right, of course. Do these say anything? No, of course not. They're just decorations. I was a ruffian myself in my younger days. See, I've been down to Sutherland River before, but a huge puddle there kept me from going in on any further. I was pretty pathetic. You are pathetic. Moti! Oh. No. Okay, so this is, this is the inn up here. No need to use that just yet. So, I think we are pretty much done here in Lormar Castle for now. We found Luke's dad, finally! It took forever. And I think we had to go to friggin' every town. Uh, so let's go ahead and get out of here. And we can head back through the snowfield. Let's just ignore all the enemies if I can. Let's just switch to the sword because it's faster. And Lester died... How the hell did Lester die again to snow rabbits? What the hell? We weren't doing that badly. Oh, uh, apparently he, the cutscene did not heal us like I thought it would. There we go. It's just a little bit of a trip back to the armory, which we couldn't use before because Professor Baum, or at least one Professor Baum that was there, there seemed to be very many Professor Bombs. Like Nurse Joy's and Officer Jenny's, I guess. One in each town. Uh, he was frozen solid, but hopefully he is back to normal. How you doing, dude? Professor Bomb. Armory Specialist, at your service. Let's hear your best primal scream, and we can choose our destination. Um, we have only two destinations here. We can go to Ish, and we can go to Rocky Wild's Armory. Uh, it can't reach the other cannons. Uh, now, just just to be cautious here... Hold on for one second. Okay, just double-checking that there were no geodes here. There aren't. So let's go back to Ish. Um, if you want to go to the Rocky Wilds Armory, you can. However, there is some more things that I need to do in the other town. So I'm going to go back to Ish. Then we can go back to the other towns from there. Um, yes. Let us sit down and get launched. Ignition! Professor Bomb! Oh no, Professor Bomb seems to have cloned himself or something here. Now, I believe here there is... There we go, a moon geode up here that I had missed. Can't see it because it's all, you know, hidden in there. Uh, but we have finished another quest, or at least a couple more quests, so let's go talk to Little Cactus some more. Actually, it looks like there was only one more thing that we could get from talking f to Little Cactus, and I bet it is the main quest. Diary entry. Uh, we stomped a boss and then the rain defrosted everyone again. But fight a boss? Me, I suppose. A cup of soup to warm their toes. They were frozen solid, little cactus. And once again, again. I've never been a fan of that. But that looks like that's going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Sword of Mana. I've been Bala Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by Loki and a floating... Lester is with us today. When we come back, we'll have more side quests that we can take care of. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.